Hi and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we will be playing with the radio stations. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Before we continue with today's episode, I really would like to personally thank all the members who have joined the channel. Thank you very much, your support really means a lot. And now let's get cracking with the radio stations. In this video we will be covering on how you can implement radio stations inside Home Assistant. We will be solving two problems. One of the problems will be how to get the stream URL that we want to get inside the Home Assistant and the other one is how to bundle radio station, speaker and volume in one script so we can trigger it from, from inside the Home Assistant. There are a couple of ways you can do it. Here you can see the simple version, but there is also a more complex version, something like this. To keep things easy, we will be covering the simple version. This one. You just select the radio station that you want to hear, select the speaker where you want to hear it, select the volume and execute. Ok. If you are interested in more complex version, this one here, you can find it inside my GitHub repository. If you have any questions about how to do this more complex version after you have searched through my code, you can always find me on the Discord server or you can leave comment here in the comment section. Let's get cracking. First thing we have to do is we have to go and find the URLs for our radio streams. The easiest way to do that is to go to TuneIn and in TuneIn search for any radio station you want. I will do two or three samples just so that you can follow it up on your own a little bit later. First I'll search for the Otvoreni. It's like open radio. Let's close this. Ok, we have it here. Then I will press F12 click on it and if you see icon like this it means that it cannot play inside the chrome because of the some restrictions what you have to do you have to click on this icon a new window will pop up and once again we will press f12 let me move this like this and let's click play Ok, so at this point we should see something similar to this. Let me just refresh this one. And let's look for the size. In the Networks tab, sort by the type or sort by the time or size because the one we are looking for should be the biggest one. So we have here type media, file is called stream, and if we hover over the stream, you will see what is the URL of the stream. What we can do here is copy link address, and if we want to test this link address, we can open the VLC. Inside VLC, go to open network stream, and just paste the URL we copied from there. Let's press play. And you should hear music coming from the VLC player. And this is the music from that stream. So now we have the URL for the Otvoreni radio. Let's search for this one. This is the Russian or Moscow radio station. 2 .2. Let's play this radio. Let's pop it up, F12, and play. We can see here that we have this file here. Let's copy it. And let's go to the this page, 
and try to load this URL. Okay, this URL place. You can also check that URL inside the VLC too. What you really have to do is you have to search for any radio station you want. Let's select, I don't know. one fm if it doesn't open up and start playing here and this one did start playing here the next thing what you had to do you had to pop up and search here but since this radio station did start playing here what we can do here is search for this url and as you can see the url for this one fm classic rock replay radio it has the mp3 stream url here we just have to copy it and it's all up to you you can have one five ten hundred radio stations you just have to find out the stream url for each one of them don't forget to copy them or save them somewhere and also tag them so that you know what stream url is playing what radio station let's get back to home assistant Next step inside Home Assistant is to create a couple of files. And in order for us to continue, we have to open Visual Studio Code or File Editor. This time I'll be opening File Editor. You can have your input fields inside Configuration YAML files. You can have each input created in its own separate file. But for the purposes of this recording, I will be creating them in the one unique file for each type of input field so we will have input number include input number yaml and i will also have input select include input select yaml now we have to create those two files let's save this first we will create input number okay Let's open it up. And in this file, we will create one integration or one input number entity, and it will be radio volume. First, we have to give it a name for the input number field. I will call it radio volume. Then I will give it a user-friendly name. If you wish, you can create icon, MDI, volume, high. We want to give initial value. Values for the speakers go from 0 to 1, meaning that 0 is 0% and 1 is 100%. I will set 30% or 0 0.3 for the volume. 0.3. Minimum value will be, as I said, zero. Maximum value will be one. Step. This is how precise the steps between each higher or lower value goes. It will be 0 0.05, so we can have better granularity. And the last thing that we want to add here is mode. For mode, there are two options. It can be either slider or the box. For this, I will not be using slider, but it's all up to you. I will use box and it will allow me to have a numbers in the field with the arrows on the right side for up and down tuning. Our input number is finished. Let's save this. And let's create next file, new file, input, select, YAML. Let's open it up. And here we have to create two select options. One will be for radio stations and another one will be for radio speakers. Let's start with the radio stations. Okay. 
let's give it a name. This will be name we'll be using internally inside Home Assistant, radio station. Name will be select radio station and options will be friendly names for each radio station that we have the streaming URL. I have three. One will be Otvoreni. Second one will be Dva Rza Dva, two times two. And the third will be one dot FM. You just have to repeat this for every radio station that you have a streaming URL. And you can have them as many as you want. But you will see that having too many of them will bring you a management issue later on. So let's keep it for the three at this point. Next, we will add initial value. This would be default selected value. For me, let's say that this would be Otvoreni. And the last thing that you can add, you do not have to, but it will help you in your user interface to look more pretty and that you do know what you are doing here. It will be icon MDI radio. So now we have created radio stations. And a last input select that we have to create is the radio speaker. So this will be a list of all the speakers that we want our radio to be able to play on. Radio speaker would be internal name. Name would be select speaker. Options would be the list of all the speakers in our house. There are a couple of ways you can do and list all your speakers. This could be Echo devices or Google devices. I believe that Echo devices should work, although I've tested this only on the Chromecast devices, so Google devices. You could list them here with their internal names, for example, media underscore player dot something something. But once again, we want to make this user friendly, so we will be giving them their pretty names. Let me type a couple here. One would be display me. Next one would be clock me. Then I have mini me and whatever me. So once again, list as many speakers as you want. Let's add initial value. You can call this default speaker. Same as before, you can call this initial value as default radio station. And initial, let's say it will be clock me. And the last thing that you can add here is the icon. The I speaker wireless. Let's save this. And the last thing that we need to do is to create a script. Let me check if I have any scripts here. Yes, I have. I have scripts file, but it's empty. Let's go to configuration YAML file to check that this file is loaded. And yes, I already have script loaded with the external file scripts YAML. So we can safely go there and add a script. The length of this script will unfortunately depend on how many radio stations you want to have listed and how many speakers you have. Let's comment radio play script. We will call this script radio play. Alias for the script will be play radio on Chromecast. Let's add sequence here and let's start typing fun part. First we will create a service to set the volume. Media player dot volume set. Now we have to create condition 
entity ID. Now we have to create a list of all the entities and depending on the selection for the speaker, we have to set the state for that player. So let's start typing. Bracket percentage sign if is state input select dot radio speaker comma and we have to here list all the speakers we have listed previously for example we will start with display me let me just fix brackets here curl ones so this is the string meaning that if state is then we check the input select field display me speaker will be media player dot display me new line and we start once again else if is state input select radio speaker uh, minimi media player would be minimi Then we just repeat this for any speaker we have added or listed in our input field. Let me copy this. We will just okay, fix this one. It should be like this. And then we just customize each field depending on the speaker. So we have display me, mini me, whatever me. And the last speaker I have listed was Clock Me. After you have listed all the speakers you have, you have to end it like this. And if. Then we finally set the volume level. States. Bracket. Quote. Input. Number. Dot. Radio. Volume. Close quote. Close this and close those curled brackets. First part is done. When we run the script, there will be a couple of sequences. First sequence will be to set the volume. And we are using this if else statement to match selection from our radio speaker input select field with the media player itself. And the last thing that we do is we set the volume level to the state of the input number field called radio volume, the one we created previously. And next service. Is the part where we really push the stream to the specific speaker. This will be media. Player. Play media. Unfortunately, this part would be even longer because we have to repeat once again this part as we want to only trigger the speaker that is selected. But the easy part is that we can copy it from above. Let's just select everything here and paste it. Make sure that alignment is OK. If in future you remove a speaker or add a speaker, you have to 
add or remove it from both these places here, but also from the input field where you listed all the speakers. And next part is where we create a link between the name of the radio station and the stream URL that we captured previously. Media content ID. Okay. And once again, we begin to type a very long string. Same as previously. Curl the bracket is opened. Percentage if is state input select radio station let me add here first radio station 1 fm let's close it percentage close this one and let's paste here the URL we captured previously. So this is the, this one. Next, once again, curled bracket, percentage, else if is state bracket, quote, input select radio station, comma, otvoreni. percentage close curl bracket paste here the stream url and now you just continue and keep adding names of the radio stations with the matching stream url let me add the last one although i'm not sure that the last one will play because this is the ogg format and i'm not sure that chromecast devices can play that format <laughs> You just keep adding same lines here for all the radio stations that you've added to the input uh, select field. And when you reach the end of the list, you just add curl bracket, percentage, and if, percentage and curl bracket. So media content type and for the media content type you have a couple of options i usually use audio mp4 but this is not according to the specification more appropriate here would be music let's save this let's go to configuration server control check configuration and we can now restart Home Assistant. Yeah, I know, you have option to reload everything here. We can try doing that too. Reload input number. Reload input select. And reload scripts. But as I said, I usually prefer and do a full restart. Let's go to overview. Uh, fun stuff. And let's try and add here now a radio player. The easiest way to do it is to go to entities and select here input radio station, input speaker, input volume, and then here you just have this script executed. Let's save this. As you can see here, we now have three radio stations. I will select speaker that's closest to me. I will pump up the volume and press execute. Yeah, okay. So as you can hear, the radio is playing. This is pretty much it. I know that it seemed like a long process and everything, but you really can do it very fast and easy. And once you set it up, you do not have to do anything. If in the future, for example, the URL itself changes for the stream, what you would have to do, you would have to go to File Editor 
and fix it here inside the media content. You would just replace it with a new URL. If you want to add radio station, you would need to add it here, but also inside the input select field. Same things goes for the speakers. If you add or remove a speaker, you would have to add it here. And then inside the script, you would need to fix it, either add or remove it here. There is, as I said on the beginning of the video, alternative to do it a more complex way, but you do get a nicer interface. If you're interested into that, you can always check my repository on the GitHub. And this is it for today's Home Assistant How-To with Beery Thinker. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did enjoy this episode, please give me a thumbs up. It really means a lot. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. If you have any kind of a comment or a question in regard to this video, or any other previous video I did, or maybe you have a wish for a future video, you can always find me on the Discord server, but feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. And this is it. Until the next time, bye-bye and have fun.